Forget Mars, we're going to Titan. The excitement around Mars is understandable, but let's dig deeper. Mars is a dusty, barren wasteland with an atmosphere thinner than my patients during a flat Earth convention. The planet is plagued by intense dust storms that can last for months, and the radiation levels are off the charts. If we're going to spend trillions of dollars on a space colony, shouldn't we aim for somewhere a little more homey? Somewhere with a bit more potential for human life to thrive, rather than just survive? Enter Titan, Saturn's largest moon and the coolest celestial body in our solar system, scientifically speaking, of course. Titan is a world shrouded in mystery and potential. With its thick atmosphere and liquid methane lakes, it offers a unique environment that could be more suitable for human colonization. Buckle up, space cadets, because we're about to embark on a cosmic journey to explore why Titan is the ultimate destination for humanity's next big adventure. Imagine a place where the skies are orange, the lakes are made of methane, and the potential for scientific discovery is limitless. Titan's dense atmosphere could protect us from harmful space radiation, and its surface is rich with organic compounds that could be used to support life. The possibilities are endless, and the adventure is just beginning. So, let's set our sights on Titan and prepare for the journey of a lifetime. Okay, I get it. Space exploration has always been a fascinating topic, capturing the imagination of people all around the world. Mars has been the poster child for space exploration for decades. With its red dusty surface and the possibility of ancient life, it's no wonder Mars has been the focus of numerous missions and research projects, but when you compare it to Titan, it's like comparing a rusty bicycle to a brand new Tesla. Titan, Saturn's largest moon, offers a plethora of advantages that make it a more compelling destination for future space missions. For starters, Titan has a thick atmosphere, which means protection from those pesky cosmic rays that are all the rage in space. This atmosphere is primarily composed of nitrogen, much like Earth's, providing a shield against harmful radiation. Plus, it rains on Titan. Imagine exploring a world where liquid methane falls from the sky, creating rivers, lakes, and seas. This unique weather system could offer valuable insights into the chemistry and climate of other celestial bodies. Okay, it rains methane, but hey, at least you won't have to worry about your plants dying from lack of water. In fact, scientists believe that Titan's subsurface ocean might contain water, potentially making it a habitat for microbial life. Just maybe from the lack of sunlight, but we'll get to that later. Titan's distance from the sun means it receives only about 1% of the sunlight Earth does, resulting in extremely cold temperatures. However, this also means that solar power might not be the most viable energy source for future missions. But don't let that deter you. The potential for scientific discovery on Titan is immense. From its complex organic chemistry to its dynamic weather patterns, Titan offers a treasure trove of data that could revolutionize our understanding of the solar system. Imagine landing a spacecraft on Titan's surface, exploring its lakes and seas, and analyzing the data to uncover the mysteries of this enigmatic moon. The possibilities are endless, and the rewards could be groundbreaking. So, while Mars has its charm and continues to be a significant focus for space exploration, Titan presents a unique and exciting alternative. Its thick atmosphere, potential for liquid water, and complex organic chemistry make it a prime candidate for future missions. As we continue to push the boundaries of space exploration, Titan stands out as a beacon of possibility, offering a new frontier for scientific discovery and human exploration. The race to explore Titan is on, and the potential rewards are beyond our wildest dreams. Let's talk about Titan's atmosphere for a second. It's not exactly breathable by human standards, mostly because it's mostly nitrogen and methane. Think of it like this. Earth's atmosphere is like a delicious pizza with all the toppings, while Titan's is more like a plain cheese pizza. It's pizza, it'll keep you alive, but it's not exactly gourmet. The good news is, with a little bit of science magic and some really, really strong oxygen masks, we can totally make it work. Here's where things get really interesting. Titan is absolutely swimming in hydrocarbons. We're talking lakes and seas of the stuff. Remember those gas stations we used to frequent back on Earth? Well, Titan is like one giant cosmic gas station. We're talking enough fuel to power our rockets, heat our homes, and maybe even fire up the barbecue for a nice methane-grilled burger. Don't worry, the taste will grow on you. Okay, but how do we get there? The journey of a thousand rockets. All right, so Titan sounds pretty awesome, right? 
But there's one small problem, it's really really far away, like, seven years of space travel kinda far. But hey, no sweat, we've got some of the brightest minds on the planet working on faster than light travel, warp drives, and maybe even teleportation, fingers crossed on that last one. And in the meantime, we can always binge watch all those Star Wars movies. Gotta get our space travel fix somehow, right? Robots to the rescue scouting Titan before we send in the humans. Imagine the excitement of exploring a new world, but before we can send humans to Titan, we need to ensure it's safe and well mapped. That's where our trusty robots come in. Before we pack our bags and blast off to Titan, we need to send some robotic scouts to check things out. These scouts will be our eyes and ears on the ground, providing us with crucial information about the environment, terrain, and potential hazards. It's like sending an advance team to prepare the way for the main expedition. Think of it like sending your Roomba to map out your living room before you actually get off the couch. We're talking rovers, drones, and other advanced robotic systems that can navigate the challenging landscape of Titan. These machines will be equipped with state-of-the-art sensors and cameras to capture detailed images and data, and maybe even some underwater robots to explore those methane lakes, because who doesn't love a good underwater adventure? Titan's surface is covered with vast lakes of liquid methane and ethane, and these underwater robots will help us understand the composition and behavior of these alien bodies of liquid. These robots will gather valuable data, analyzing soil samples, atmospheric conditions, and even searching for signs of life. They will perform experiments that will give us insights into the chemical and physical properties of Titan's environment. This information is crucial for planning human missions and ensuring the safety of future astronauts. Build us some swanky prefab homes, creating habitats that can support human life. These structures will be designed to withstand the harsh conditions of Titan, providing a safe and comfortable living space for astronauts. The robots will use local materials to construct these habitats, reducing the need to transport building supplies from Earth, and maybe even set up a Wi-Fi network so we can finally catch up on our Netflix queue. Communication is key for any mission, and having a reliable network on Titan will allow us to stay connected with Earth, share data in real time, and even enjoy some entertainment during downtime. These technological advancements will make life on Titan not only possible but also enjoyable. Building a home away from home hydrocarbon habitats and methane mansions. So we've got the fuel, we've got the robots, now let's talk housing. Forget about those cramped inflatable habitats they're always showing in the movies. On Titan, we're building real houses people. And by houses, I mean giant dome-shaped structures made entirely out of hydrocarbons. We're talking methane mansions, ethane estates, and maybe even a propane penthouse suite for yours truly. Gotta have that view, you know? Okay, let's address the elephant in the room, or should I say, the methane-breathing alien on Titan. Food. Sure, we can pack enough freeze-dried ice cream and space ramen to last a few years, but eventually we're going to need some real sustenance. Luckily, Titan's nitrogen-rich atmosphere is perfect for growing all sorts of delicious fruits and vegetables. And who knows, maybe we'll even discover some new alien delicacies along the way. Titan-grown sushi, anyone? Now, let's talk about everyone's favorite topic, energy. Sure, we could always pack a few billion solar panels, but let's be real, the sun's a bit of a distant relative out by Saturn. Luckily, Titan has a few tricks up its sleeve. Remember all those hydrocarbons? Yeah, turns out they make pretty good fuel for nuclear fusion reactors. That's right, we're talking clean, limitless energy, baby. Take that, fossil fuels. Okay, so maybe colonizing Titan isn't all sunshine and methane rainbows. There are a few, shall we say, challenges. For starters, it's cold, like really cold. We're talking minus 179 degrees Celsius kind of cold. So pack your long johns, folks, and maybe a heated blanket or two. And then there's the whole gravity situation. Titan's gravity is about 14% of Earth's, which means we'll all be walking around like astronauts on the moon. Cue the slow motion moonwalk montage. But hey, at least we'll be able to jump really high. So there you have it, folks. Titan the ultimate destination for humanity's next big adventure. It's got everything we need, a thick atmosphere, abundant resources, and enough space to finally escape our in-laws. Plus, it's got a pretty sweet name, don't you think? And who knows, maybe we'll even run into Thanos while we're there. Hopefully he's in a good mood. Either way, one thing's for sure, the future of humanity is out there, and it's looking pretty Titanic.